Hello friends, Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink, back with another Stamp Timber limited edition exclusive collaboration. But before I get to that, I thought I would do a, a mini sort of informal product review, kind of. <laughs> Since today's collab is with Waffle Flower, I thought it would be fitting to make a point of showing some of the new uh, tools and products that Waffle Flower released earlier this month that I've already used in a couple videos or the stencil mats I've used in a few videos already. But they released these stencil mats and blending brushes and uh, an acrylic brush holder as well as a brush holder duo. So the stencil mats already used, they are silicone, the same material they made their water media mats out of, which I've shown in a ton of videos since those came out a couple of years ago whenever it was. Um, these are open-ended, so there's a mini and a large one. Either or works, just depends on, you know, your work surface and what you work on. And they're great. I like them. You can wipe them clean. Um, my plan is to actually use the stencil mats on top of one of my magnetic stencil boards, because the magnets will work through the silicone, no problem. But I thought of that after I did this video. So anyway, anyway. So they also have this little acrylic brush holder, which I decided, I was like, I want to see if I can assemble this without looking at any instructions. And I, I did. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, it comes in, in two pieces like this and it has two little um, supporting posts, screws, and a, a little baby screwdriver, which I was actually <laughs> weirdly excited by. I was like, ooh, I'm going to keep this with my crafting tools because there have been random times I've needed just a little screwdriver. So all you do is... Um, screw the posts in and screw the top to the bottom. And that's it. There is a, a protective film on both sides of these pieces. So you can peel that off and this will be completely clear. I just left it on because I don't know. I just felt like leaving it on. I might take it off down the road, but also I was like, oh, it keeps it <laughs> from getting dirty. Although when it's clear, you can just wipe it clean. It's not a big deal, but I just left it because whatever. So yeah, very easy to assemble. And then once it's assembled, it will hold 10 blender brushes, whether they be the Waffle Flower ones or other brands, pretty much any of these types of blending brushes can be put into one of these holders. So they release blending brushes, like I said, and they're in the like Waffle Flower rainbow of colors, like the muted rainbow that is on like Waffle Flower's packaging and their little um, embellishments and whatnot. And they're great. Like, this was all sent to me, in case I didn't already say that. I can't even remember. It's been a long month. Um, these are all sent to me. I, pro I probably would have ordered them anyway, just because. Not like I need any more blending brushes, me personally, because I have a ton of them. But they're cute. And I'm even for just, like, it's a little rainbow display. <laughs> you know how we justify the most ridiculous of things. So anyway, I was like, ooh. But I am, I'm going to use them in this video and then I'll keep using them. So they're great. They're a decent little size. They're actually right in, they're in between. They're like the middle size between Simon's, the new ones, the small, Simon's small blending brushes and the large ones that Simon released at the beginning of this month. Um, these are kind of in the middle. So that also justified it to me. I was like, oh, see, now I have three sizes. So anyway, don't listen to me. I'm, I will justify anything for anything anyway. The other thing they released was this brush holder duo. So this is also the same material, like this silicone material, but it has little like nubs. I don't know what you call them in the bottom. This is meant to go with the, the main water media mat, like the original, because it has all these wells in it that you can like smush ink cubes, uh, like your distress inks, or put like watercolor in whatever. So these will fit in there just like I'm showing on video. So I'm actually thinking I might get a few more of the brush holder duos because I like them. They will fit like one of these. It comes as a pack of two. One will hold 10 brushes. So I was like, ooh, I can fit quite a lot in here. <laughs> so they're just convenient little things. So I was like, hmm, I don't even know if I'll for sure use them with like with my water media mat because same thing. I don't have space to leave this stuff out on my desk. But like because they're silicone, like you can rest your brushes on them, that sort of a thing. But I think I might just have more just to have to you know, proper, like when I'm using my paint brushes and different random things like that, my markers, etc., just to throw them in there. So if 
fun little things. All the actual like specific detail info, you know, that sort of stuff, like the product info will be listed which e with each of those things. So if you want like more info than my very ratchet product review, I recommend checking the actual product info out. <laughs> so let's get to making the cards. So I'm using the little mini stencil media map and I'm using the waffle flower maple leaf background stencil and some of Simon's positively saturated inks. I'm going very light. These are not normally colors I would go for, especially with like a maple leaf stencil. Like I'd go, honestly, after I was done all this, I was like, oh, I wish I had more time. I want to do Nina Desert Storm cardstock and Distress Oxide inks. <laughs> go like deep fall rich colors. So there's another idea for this. You know, you could get a totally different look doing the exact same thing, just different colors, of inks, different cardstock. It would look fabulous. But I was in a very light and airy sort of mood with this. So I used um, the lemonade, peachy, celery and seafoam inks. And I just blended them. And like I said, this stencil mat, this would have worked really well on top of my, like I have the tonic magnetic mat. I also have the uh, Wendy Vecchi magnetic mat. Kind of pop this stencil mat on top of that. And then I would have like the magnets to hold the stencil down, you know, just slowly figuring things out. So anywho, I did two backgrounds because I wanted to use obviously the Stamp Timber stamp set that was released today. So I, there's two big sentiments in it. So I was like, Ooh, I want two backgrounds. So I did my quick little blending with those colors onto both the backgrounds and then I trim those down off camera and then I'm going to use this uh, oversized wishes stamp set. This is the waffle flower limited edition collab for stamp timber. So once it's sold out, it's gone. However, waffle flower does have several sets like this, like the oversized words. I've done a bunch of videos using it, using other sets like this, and I just love them. There's something about the big sentiment and all the buildable sentiments. Again, I'm a sucker for sentiments. Can never have enough of them. The more, the merrier. So I am doing the two backgrounds because the one word is wishing, like the big word, and the other one is wishes. So I was like, ooh, I can do two different like types of sentiments. And I also used a new product that I'm not gonna do a full review on at the moment. I literally just got it the day I made these cards. Like it showed up in my one of my orders. It's the Rabbit Hole Designs Cottontail Embossing um, Powder Tool. It's cool. So far so good, but literally this is like my first attempt with it, but I like it. So you'll, you guys will see it more in videos like as I keep playing with it, but I use that it's the same idea as like, it's an anti-static powder tool. So I used that on my background and then inked up the big sentiment stamp with clear embossing ink, stamped it onto my background. And I did this twice because it's a large sentiment, a lot of solid area. So I wanted to make sure I had good coverage with the ink. And then I coated that with Simon's Detail Gold embossing powder, tapped off the excess. And then I'm going to melt that with my heat tool. So I've got this fabulous gold embossed sentiment that's like center stage. That's also why I went more subtle with the leaves because I wanted the sentiment to take, you know, the, the center stage as it were. So I stamped the big sentiments, heat embossed them. And then there's a bunch of different little companion words. So you can build different phrases depending on what occasion you're going after. So I stamped the companion phrases on both card fronts with VersaFine Clair Nocturne ink. And then, yeah, here's this little powder tool. You just pop the, the base up to protect the bristles and then you pop the cap on. It's, it's great. It's a neat little tool. There, and same thing. There's a bunch of info with the actual product listing at the moment. It's sold out. In fact, a lot of this stuff is sold out at the moment. I can't keep up with all the things, but there's things for you guys to just look into, you know, make your informed decisions. So I, of course, I'm going to add splatter. I'm keeping these cards really simple, kind of clean and simple. But I was like, well, if I'm doing gold heat embossing, like gold splatter will look good too. <laughs> so I used my Gonsai Tombi starry colors and swirled up one of the uh, gold watercolors in that set, splattered it all over both of those card fronts and then set those aside to dry. While those were drying, I took my card bases and the same inks and the same maple leaf stencil. And I'm just gonna blend those colors onto the inside of the card. 
It was also the nice reason for having like light colors. I was like, oh, I'm not going to stamp anything on the insides. I'll just blend these leaves. So I've got that, you know, matchy matchiness going on and it'll just look cute and finish everything off. So I masked off right at the fold of the card base and then just lined up the stencil and blended the inks. Simple, easy peasy. This is another one of those ones where you could just do a whole bunch at once, you know, back to back to back and do like an entire little card set, give it as a gift, that sort of a thing, you know, it would work because you could do just depending on the colors, depending on the stencil you used. Yeah. Yeah. Ideas. Anyway, did all that blending. And then I had cut down some like aqua colored cardstock, slightly larger than my card fronts and glue those together with Simon's Craft Tacky Glue. And then once those were glued together, I'm going to back all this with Scotch foam tape because since these are clean and simple, like I've said in other videos, if I'm going more simple, I will usually amp up the dimension a little bit more just to give it that little extra something. So this is why I, this is the reasons why I'll use the Scotch foam tape because it's a lot thicker than Simon's Big Mama foam tape that I use in like 90% of my cards. So put those in place, pop those onto the card bases, and then I'm just gonna match these with aqua colored envelopes. And these cards are done. Just like I said, quick and simple. And I just, there's something about these sentiments I do, I love. I think I own ever, almost every single one, if not every single one of Waffle Flower's sentiments like this, like the other sets, love them. Tons, I have tons of them. I've used so many of them and I just love. Anyway, like everything, as always, I will have links below the video to my blog post. I will link to this stamp timber set as well as all the other supplies, the ones I talked about and showed assembling all the things. <laughs> I'll have links in the description box below the video as well as on my blog, which is also always linked directly below the video. So if you guys are interested, you can check that out. Thank you all so much for watching, for subscribing, thumbs up and commenting, all of it. I very much appreciate it. And I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.